All right, in this video, I want to talk to you about why electricians need to have a pair of crimpers, okay? You can see that it has insulated and non-insulated crimps. A lot of times when you go to buy uh, different lineman suppliers, sometimes you could buy them with a crimp, right? Uh, but it, those only do non-insulated crimps, all right? In addition to that, these crimps crimp from the front. These linemen, when they have the crimp, crimp from the back. All right, I'll talk to you about that in this video. Now, before we get into the video, definitely check out my free book I have for you guys as apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. And if you sign up with your name and email, I will send you the book absolutely for free. Tons and tons of valuable tips in there, uh, you know, when I was starting to become a journeyman, okay? Okay, so I don't have uh, non-insulated crimps. I only have insulated crimps on me at the moment, uh, but you can see that uh, this is like the insulation, the little yellow around it. Now, like anything when it comes to life and especially in trades, it's really important to always read the instructions. So these crimps says uh, single wires from uh, 12 to 10 or stranded copper, okay? Um, so anyways, so what you would do is you would just strip your wire and you're gonna put it in there and then you would put it into the insulated, okay? And you would just send it, right? So usually what would happen is you just, you know, if, if a wire is in there, you see it just crimps just like this and you just give her. And then that is the insulated crimp. Maybe I went too much because now, now it's exposed. Um, but anyways, I'm just trying to show you that that is an insulated crimp, okay? And so if you are, um, you know, like, because I, I told you guys in my video about how to buy Klein's, uh, Klein Tools linemans, right? We talked about uh, the insulation grips. We talked about um, the 2000 series for the uh, better knives, right? Ne better cutting knives. But in addition, because this, this is my favorite style of lineman pliers by Klein, right? You can get the journeyman series grips. You can get uh, the fish tape puller, which I don't have myself i just like a basic pair of like this with the 2000 series um and you can also get the crimp right but the crimp is non-insulated which it, you know it is useful to have i'm not saying it's not useful uh but the thing that's annoying if it is here is that you have to open up your pliers you have to wrap it around the wire line it up and then you can crimp right now one thing i will tell you guys that is that not many people have a pair of crimpers on site. So what happens a lot of times is if you have a pair, a lot of people want to use your pair and it's kind of annoying. I remember I handed these out and they're just not like, they don't have a nice smooth feel anymore. I can just feel around here. So, um, you know, maybe the person dropped them, maybe they're hitting with them. I don't know. All I know is that um, they don't feel the same as when they, you know, when I used to have them just myself. But what I want to explain to you guys in this video is that if you are doing seismicking, right? So if you are living in a place where earthquakes can happen, right? If you are in like the, the firing and stuff like that, um, you will be doing seismic a lot when it comes to your lights and exit signs and things that can fall, right? And so we have to seismic them. And uh, very often it will be the non-insulated, just like it would be on the uh, on your pliers, you know, non-insulated, but it's just the workflow that it's from the front. You don't have to open them up. You don't have to wrap it around, put them in there and then line it up. And it's just, it's just annoying. This is like, you can slide them, you put them in there, boom. And it also even has cutters. Now these are by channel lock. So they were affordable. I think they're only like 20 or 30 bucks. You can buy ones by Klein. Uh, or right so you can get more expensive ones I just picked up a cheap pair and I'm telling you it is so worth it all right and that's you know just because I've talked about it in previous videos I just wanted to make a quick video about it so that's this video if you guys want to stay updated with the website you guys can subscribe on YouTube or check out my free book for apprentice electricians you can download it for free by going to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe and you guys will get the book absolutely for free sent to your email. Always feel free to leave a comment and ask a question about another video that you wanna see. I have tons of different uh, materials that I picked up recently. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. I'll talk to you in the next one.